Welcome everybody to another episode of Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt, and we've got an unboxing today on the Taurus TX22 Competition Pistol. So let's get into it. I just got this pistol and this other one over here at the gun show this last weekend in Fort Worth. It was a lot of fun. So here we go. All right, Taurus TX22. It's got a bunch of paperwork, cool stuff. Looks like good information. Always important. Here's the pistol. We've got a lock. Get a little speed loader. We've got a uh, little device for the end of the barrel, so it's an adapter. Thank you, an adapter. All right, the Taurus TX22 pistol. This one is a regular Taurus TX22. Pretty excited. This one's been out for a couple years, one and one for a long time. I think it's going to be awesome. So happy to get that little guy. And now for the one that has just come out. Put this one away. Well, I'm going to leave this one out. It's clear. We'll just leave the magazine out of it. All clear. Good to go. Okay. Let's put this box over here. Put this over here. Here is the Taurus TX-22 competition pistol. More paperwork, always important, cool, very important, the lock, ATF stuff. Here she is, woohoo. So the regular TX-22 came with two magazines. This one comes with one, two, three. It has the little loader. It has these plates. And let's take a look at this girl here. Take her out. Magazine. Clear. Physically clear. Visually clear. Good to go. Alright. What's kind of neat about this pistol is these little plates fit right in the front. And you can flip them back and forth. It's two plates in this bag but you can flip them over so it basically works out for four plates. You can use the sights the way they are. Take a look here maybe, see the sight picture. Yeah, looks pretty good. Three, dot, uh, three white sights, right? Um, yeah, let's move this off to the side for a moment. And let's just take a look here. I do happen to have a little extra Red dot that I'm going to go ahead and put on it later, but I had that one laying around, wasn't doing anything. So next time you see that at the range, it's going to be sitting right about there. A little bit about the Taurus TX22 competition. Notice it takes the same magazine as the regular TX22, which is awesome. So this is 16 in the magazine, one in the hole. Uh, some of the differences on these pistols are as follows. You can see the, the regular one's a little bit smaller. The barrel length on the regular TX is 4.1 inches. The barrel length on the competition is 5.25 inches. Um, it has a really unique design and, and uh, that's why I wanted to get this one. Um, it, the slide is cut all the way. <coughs> Excuse me, slide is cut all the way. So the slide reciprocates back and forth and your red dot sight is mounted directly to the barrel. So it'll make it extremely accurate, probably more accurate than this. Again, uh, five and a quarter barrel versus 4.1. This is a bull barrel. They both have thread uh, adapters on here, thread protectors. Peel these off and you can attach uh, this one actually is already uh, one half by 28, so you can attach a suppressor directly to it. And this one does come with the adapter, where you can take this little thread protector off, put the adapter on, and you can run that suppressed. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Big bull barrel. I've only seen a couple reviews on this on this gun yet, and uh, they they've both been excellent. So, looking forward to it. 
uh, TX22, hey, next time you see me, I'm going to be out on the range having a great day. Of course, I start the tape, it starts to blow like crazy. All right, Taurus TX22, little 22 pistol, been out for a couple years. I just got this one at the gun show last weekend. All right, when I first got this, I brought it to the range. I was running some American Eagle, which did not run very well. So I, uh, whoa, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay. All right, guys, the TX22. TX22, let's go ahead and put some rounds down range, see if we can get it to run today. We are going to start with Aguila. Man, the wind is fierce. Aguila ran pretty good. Let's try. I'm scared to do it. Let's try the uh, Federal, the American Eagle. Nothing against Federal. I love Federal, but I think this one particular brick, uh, we'll see how it does. Well, woohoo! Ran good! Oh, amazing! Alright, let's see. Hmm. Let's go one more, one more federal. Here we go. Uh-oh. Failure to eject. Let's try it again. Same thing. I wonder if it's a mag. Oh, looks good. Man, might be the magazine. Put that magazine to the side. Okay. We have the 22 clean. Isn't that pretty stuff right there? Yeah, nice and pink. Uh, pretty good stuff. Let's give it a try. Here we go. took great care in trying to get these loaded exactly right and it's just stuck right here stuck right here at the edge of the magazine so we're going to eject let's see if I can just turn this around all right let's see if we can run the rest of them this round back in see if it'll if it'll load up there we go let's see if we got one more we got uh, standard velocity CCI target ammunition going for the go fair him. Missed him. All right, Gopher. Wow. It's blowing. Got him. All right, guys, there we have it. TX 22. I think, uh, 
I think when I have run a couple hundred more rounds through it, uh, I might come back and revisit this one. I really like it. The ergonomics are great. Trigger seems really nice on it. Resets audible. You can feel it. Uh, it's, yeah, pretty sweet little pistol. I think this particular one just might need a little bit more shooting, and I want to definitely check that one magazine over there. Take my ears off so I'm not yelling at you. I might need to yell at you though with this wind. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had some fun today. I know I did. Anytime I'm on the range and get to shoot a 22 and plink at go fairs and steal targets, it's always a good time. Uh, just to let you know, I do have some contact information down below in the uh, in the description, the video description, in case you want to reach me for anything, email, stuff like that. So, uh, Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt. Happy trails. See you next time.